how I feel about this. Does it look weird? I don't know, we're gonna roll with it. I really want this to work. Um, I really want these headbands to look cute on me. I'm just not sure if they do. We're gonna do it for now. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do the um, brand new tag that Emily Norris created. If you don't follow her already, you definitely should. She is such a cool mom and uh, just like goals. Um, but she created the tag and I found it really interesting and I wanted to create my own version of it. Not my own version, but like do the tag basically. Um, so let's just get straight into it. So there is 15 questions and the first question is what is your favourite mum hack? This is actually a really hard question, um, oh I don't know, my favourite mum hack. I don't think I have a favourite mum hack but I think I have a favourite mum tip and that is never leave the house without snacks. Snacks are everything the second question is what's your most embarrassing mum moment um yeah so it would have to be about three months ago i was on the bus because i hate driving and i live in london so it's just really easy to just get on the bus and um my son bear he just hates the bus like so much that I get really anxious when I'm driving and he cries I just I can't do it I, I in the best of circumstances I hate driving so when he's like not happy it just makes it 10 times worse but he was crying so much and he had snacks like he was fed he wasn't dirty anything and everybody was staring at me and I felt so judged and I was like crying with him like I started crying because like I just really didn't know what to do I took him out and he was being really wriggly and um I just I hate going anywhere like he can be really difficult at times he is one and I think he's at an age where he just wants to do what he wants and that's fair enough he just wants to walk around and be free and play with his toys and the bus is just not the place to do that so he really wasn't having it and um, I think people can make it worse just by staring and um, like you just feel more under pressure to perform and just make it stopped but you can't. He's his own person and I really couldn't so after having a good old cry with him on the bus I got off and I actually walked and if you live in London you know that London's massive and it took me about 40 minutes to get home but I was like I would rather walk it than stay on the bus and he's much happier like off the bus so he wasn't crying when I was off um but that was like a really bad moment for me and I actually haven't gotten on the bus since because I'm really scared what part of the day do you love the most mm. I think probably lunchtime or just after lunchtime. Um, I think that's like activity time in my house. You have lunch and then we can do something. We can either go out or we can do like painting or reading or something and everybody's happy. And with two children, it's not always easy. What part of the day do you like the least? I think most parents can agree with me that the worst part of the day is um, like just after dinner time and bath time and while you're waiting for bedtime and everybody's cranky at that point and it can be a lot sometimes um, and there's like not really much to do. That time normally turns into iPad time. Worst thing someone said to you when you were pregnant. Uh, that would probably have to have have to have been with Lily when I was pregnant with Lily um there was this lady I was walking to the doctors up to the hospital actually um and she was like oh like um I can't remember exactly what she said but then she said like are you having twins and I was like no and she was like are you sure like you're really big well she turned out to be nine pounds nine ounces so she was really big and she probably had a right to say that but it's still quite mean to say that to somebody like she made me feel like 
really massive um which is fine like i'm fine with it now but when you're pregnant and you're sensitive to that um it, it, it's not fun baby name you didn't agree on um there was a lot there was a lot of names that we didn't agree on the main one that i was really set on and that would have been if my son was a girl which he wasn't so it made it really easy but it's something that my partner was really set on not having and i really liked it and that was hero for a little girl i just thought it was such a beautiful name but he wasn't into it do you do you co-sleep well uh, we co-slept actually we co-slept with lily for nearly two years a very long time i just couldn't get her out of my bed and she was breastfeeding so it was a lot harder for me to um put her in her own bed because she was still constantly waking up throughout the night and once i stopped breastfeeding and she went into her own bed it was a lot easier and she stopped waking up which was a good thing with bear uh we co-slept until he was about one maybe a little bit less no definitely one um until he was one um but he wasn't breastfed he we stopped breastfeed i stopped breastfeeding him when he was nine months um by his choice he decided he liked the bottle more so that's what we went with and um so yeah that was really long no we don't co-sleep would be the best answer something you bought but have never used wow that's a good one there is a lot i have bought and never used off the top of my head the main thing would be probably newborn clothes three hospital bags must have baby grows oh wow there's so many um muslin squares those are a lifesaver and water wipes because i can see them right there and they are really good they're the only one they're the only wipes that midwives recommend from newborn stage because they are 99.9 percent .9 water and they are really good um are you a routine mum or a go with the flow mum what does bedtime look like i am definitely a routine mum i like everybody knowing what they're doing at what time and i thought i find it that it's with my children it would just works best my bedtime routine goes bath time homework time dinner time relaxing time bedtime um by seven o'clock lily is in bed monday to friday saturdays and sundays i'm a little bit more relaxed with it and she might go to bed at eight o'clock but if she goes to bed any later she's really tired in the morning and i think that's really unfair for her so routine definitely works for us what type of labor did you have pain and what pain relief did you choose um so i had um with lily i had a natural would you say natural i had a natural birth i did get the epidural i did have gas in it so it was a very long labor with bear i was induced because my waters broke and labor wasn't starting 48 hours later so i was recommended to be induced and i again had gas in it and the epidural but they were pretty similar in that sense they were both very long labors and i had the epidural with both of them have you ever been mum shamed yeah, I mean, as a young parent, I think I was automatically shamed from the get-go. Um, as soon as people found out that I was pregnant, I felt mum shamed. Uh, there's a massive stigma around being a young parent and being a bad parent. I think those are linked, like, people assume them to be linked together. And I really fought very hard to fight that stigma because I just hate it. And so definitely feel mum shamed all the time. Even now I go out anywhere. I haven't been mum shamed where somebody's said something to me directly. I don't think it's ever happened. I can't think of it right now. And if it has, then I'm really glad I can't remember it. So I would say yes and no. The biggest challenges you've faced since becoming a mum. Obviously, being a parent is a challenge in itself. But um, 
I think losing friendships would have to be one of the hardest things that I've had to deal with after becoming a parent and losing your identity a little bit uh, I think for the first year with both my children you just take a step back and I felt like I wasn't really as important and it is it is a really hard balance of finding yourself and um, being a good parent and I don't necessarily think one has to suffer for the other one I think you can be both and you can do both and you can be a good parent and love yourself and care for yourself and take time to do things that you like even if it's just reading a book or taking a bubble bath without a rubber ducky it is always fun the best bit of advice you've ever been given and the biggest piece of advice you'd give to a new mum? Oh, this is a really good question. Actually, the best piece of advice I ever received was on the internet. And I cannot remember it. But I remember it being a really good piece of advice. But the biggest piece of advice I would give somebody is don't compare your children. Um, children are just so different just because your first child was a certain way does not mean that the, any following children are going to be the same don't be too hard on yourself we are all trying our best um and there's no perfect way and people have different opinions and different um parenting choices and that is okay yeah, that would be the best thing i can tell somebody who is your mum crush Ooh. I would have to say Emily Norris she is just such a hot mum she really is like she posted a picture she went on a holiday with her family uh, I can't remember where she was going but she looked so amazing in this swimsuit and I bought it and I totally didn't look like that I was so annoyed um, but she's just absolutely beautiful and she is the creator of this tag so it's only right but thank you so much for watching if you want to see any more of me, please do subscribe. If you want to see me anywhere else, then you can follow me on social media. It's in Pikes, my Instagram, and that's pretty much the only social media I have. I hope you have a lovely day, and until my next video, I will see you soon.